Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I hope those are watching this tutorial are doing great and having good health. Um, you know the title and the thumbnail of this video is, is about the introduction of digestive system and I'm going to explain in a shorter way the human digestive process. So what is digestion? And of course I think it, it, you can recognize this simplified figure that I have drawn uh, is about the expressing the digestive system. So what is digestion? If this is the question that I can say that digestion is a process by which food particles are breaking down into absorptionable substance and then body get the, uh, the nutrition. So every day we eat food and inside our body some process is always going on. Some enzymes and hormones are reacting and some changes are happening and we are getting energy. So the, the focus is that we are taking food and for that food we are, we are getting energy. How this process is going on and what is inside that is the main purpose of this tutorial. Of course I hope that you have already watched my previous uh, tutorial which is about uh, the food nutrition and digestion and I have uploaded a number of videos based on the vitamin deficiency disorders and uh, of course intestinal disorders and this is the sequential videos and 14th tutorial of the digestion process so what is digestion you know it already and you of course you can have the definitions that digestion is a process by which the food particles are breaking down into absorptionable substance and body get energy so what are the types of digestive process if i say that though i have written some very short of type of table that to make you understand what are the sequences of the digestive system and this picture may help you to, to visualize the total process sequentially this is very very important so we can say that digestion process is divided into two types that is mechanical and chemical so we can say that the first types is mechanical and the second part is chemical and what is the mean of it? Think about it. When I take some food, what I do? Through our mouth and through our teeth, we chewing and then we swallow it. So when we chew, then it means that there are some sort of like breaking down into small pieces into our mouth and this is about a mechanical process. But when the food particles go to stomach, is a bag-like uh, organs, and then there were some reactions is happening inside. What are the reactions and how these food particles are turning into some absorptionable process and absorptionable substance? This is the question should be answered through this tutorial. So we know that digestive system or digestion process is divided into two parts, mechanical and chemical. But you say that if we divide the total system, then we'll have two title under it that is digestion tube or alimentary tube or you can say yes digestive tube so this is actually a tube that tube is known as digestive tube or alimentary tube and this is digestive gland that means those gland will secrete some sort of enzymes and hormones for this process to help this process and what are the glands and what is the sequences of the tube think about it digestive tube if you see think about it, it's a human skeleton and this is a mouth and buccal cavity and then it started from here and this long tube is known as esophagus and then we see from the esophagus this is something bag like organ and this is stomach and from this stomach this curve like I mean u-shaped curve has started here this is known as small intestine and you know that small intestine has three different parts that started from here is duodenum and then this is jejunum and then the third is ileum so if you see the digestive tube has been started from number one is mouth we have mouth and inside our mouth we have tongue and we have teeth we have 32 teeth those are adults we have two jaws and upper jaws and lower jaws both jaws have 16 16 32 teeth and these teeth are very very strong 
and these teeth helps us to break down the food particles into small pieces. So the digestive tube has been started from mouth and then inside we have buccal cavity. The cavity means the space. So mouth and then buccal cavity. So you must know there is a sequences and we should not break this sequence. So the digestive tube started from mouth and then inside we have buccal cavity and then we have larynx or pharynx and then started from this is esophagus and then after esophagus the bag like organ is stomach and then from stomach the small intestine has been started and you see that small intestine has three part duodenum, jejunum and ileum so sequentially this should be the number 6, this should be number 7 and this should be number 8 that means this is duodenum, jejunum and ileum and you see that when ileum and the large intestine is fused at one place this is large intestine and you see there is a finger like prominent place is known as appendix and this is cecum so from this cecum you see colon has been started this is the ascending colon and this is transverse colon and this is descending colon and from that part, this is actually not that straight line, these are all coiled together, but I just make it a straight line figure so that for your visualization. So this is sigmoid colon and this is rectum and the last part is anus. So you see our first part started from mouth and the last part is anus. So from mouth to anus, this is a single tube it's a long, most probably 8 meter long tube that is known as digestive tube. So, number 1, 2, number 9, that is anus. So, from mouth to anus, this long tube is known as digestive tube. And when we take foods in our day to day life, we take through our mouths and through our buccal cavities, we swallow it and then it goes to stomach, then stomach to small intestine and then large intestine and then anus and then this is the defecations. So that is the natural process of human beings that everybody is taking food in order to survive. So in order to get energy, we need to take food and that food is digest, it's, it's, I mean, it's getting absorptionable process and that is digestive system. So the system is divided into two parts. So and the other part is digestive gland. What are the glands? Glands secretes hormones and enzymes. You must know that glands might be like unicellular glands and multicellular glands or even you can say that endocrine glands or exocrine glands. Those are endocrine glands, they secrete hormones and those are endo sorry, exocrine gland secretes enzyme and endocrine gland secretes hormone. So there is some differences between enzymes and hormones. I'll come up with the next another videos regarding when I'll explain about the digestive system and the whole process. Then you know that endocrine system secretes hormones. Those will actually uh, has ductless gland, endocrine glands called ductless gland is because they don't have any duct because they directly secrete hormone and it's mixed with the bloods and then work in the specific organs. But the exocrine gland, those are secreting enzymes, they have duct. So these glands is secreting hormones and enzymes. What are those glands? Salivary glands. You must know the salivary glands is situated here and we have three pairs of salivary gland. That is one pair of pituitary gland, one pair of submaxillary and submandibular. So sorry, parotid glands. So parotid, submaxillary and some submandibular. These three pairs of glands is salivary gland. I said pituitary earlier, sorry for the mistake because pituitary is the gland which is situated in the brain and that is a very very special gland, it's called master gland. But in salivary gland, these are actually parotid, submaxillary, submandibular. 
So these are the salivary gland. Think about this liver. See the red mark is this organs is actually not like that, but I'm just making it the simpler way. This is liver, and you see this liver is known as a chemical laboratory because it has number of functions and it, it stores food particles. Liver is a storehouse. So this liver, actually this liver, and you can see this bag-like substance. This is actually known as gallbladder and inside the gallbladder bile has been stored. So liver produce bile and that bile is carried out through this duct and you see there is a common duct in between these. You see this is a leaf like organ is there and this is known as pancreas. And this is very important that when stomach ends Suppose this is the place where stomach ends and small intestine has been started. So this in small intestine, this is duodenum and in this point two special duct is joined together and they form a common path. This is called hepatopancreatic ampulla. And you see this is the bile duct and this is the pancreatic duct. So duct means the, the capillaries, lines where uh, the enzymes and hormones will be carried out. So this is the bile duct and this is the pancreatic duct. So the pancreas, those are producing both enzymes and hormones, you'll know it later that the pancreas is known as a mixed gland because it produces enzymes and hormones and the number of enzymes like trypsin, chymotrypsin, lipase, amylase this type of enzyme is produced here and it's carried through this pancreatic duct or even in case of hormones pancreas produce somatostatin, glucagon, insulin, this type of hormones which has lots of other activities in our body, especially metabolic process. So you see this is uh, pancreas and this is liver and liver mixed up with here and that common opening is known as hepatopancreatic ampulla. And you see this is known as duodenum. So, what are the digestive glands in our body? There is salivary glands, liver, pancreas, gastric gland and intestinal gland. What is gastric gland? Gastric gland are those which are situated in the layer, inner layer of our stomach because gastro is similar word like a stomach. So, gastric gland is situated in the inner layer of the stomach and inside our stomach the acidic conditions are there and pH level might be 1.5 to 2.5. So, huge hydrochloric acid has been produced inside the stomach for the digestion process. I will come up with the next video what is the digestion process in mouth, what is the digestion process in stomach, what is the digestion process in small intestine and of course in HSC level there is some limitations. When you go to the HSC level or A level study or even higher study then this digestion process will come up like an ocean but here I am just going to explain a limited versions like primary level of discussions or the explanations of digestion process. So I hope you understand the digestion process is divided into two parts that is the digestive tube so the tube from mouth to anus and the gland and what are the glands think about the first time that salivary gland okay liver pancreas digestive gland and intestinal gland or gastric gland so the gastric gland are those gland which is situated inside the inner layer of stomach and the intestinal layer situated in the intestine. So all these things will activate together for the metabolism of our process. So you know that we, we actually need to know what's going on inside our body because human body is a magic box and digestive system is something like a huge number of chemical reactions, enzymes activities, hormones activities and lots of other activities. So I'll come up with the next video but before going to say that you must know the process, you must know the tube 
and the class you see the picture and if you can draw something good one for your better understanding draw it with your own hand that will help you to visualize the process so hopefully uh, i can make you simplify this process so i'm coming up with the next tutorial the digestive system in mouth and then small intestine and then large intestine so take care stay well